Have you ever noticed how some people seem to effortlessly glide through life storms while others get caught up in the downpour? I know I certainly have. In fact, there's times when I've felt like I was drowning in negativity, constantly bombarded by life's challenges and setbacks. It felt like I was stuck in a never-ending cycle of stress and frustration. But then, something incredible happened. I stumbled upon a simple yet profound truth the power of positive attitude. It was like a light bulb went off in my mind, illuminating the path towards a more fulfilling and joyful life. And I know that I'm not the only one who's experienced this transformation. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Riley and welcome to Learn Something New, where we focus on converting the ordinary into extraordinary. Today, we're diving deep into the power of positive attitude and how a simple shift in perspective can dramatically change your life. I'm thrilled to share the inspiring story of a New York City taxi cab driver who, just like me, discovered the secret of turning adversity into opportunity. We'll also dive into a powerful poem that has inspired me for years. It reveals the key to unlocking your true potential. Get ready to discover how a shift in attitude can elevate you above life's challenges and help you soar like an eagle no matter where you're starting from. A few years ago, I had the privilege of consulting for a mid-sized company facing a crisis. Employee morale had plummeted 42% and sales had dropped by a staggering 15% just in one quarter. They were on the brink of losing their most valuable clients. Their workforce was completely disengaged. Recognizing the need for a change, we implemented a comprehensive attitude adjustment program. This program built on principles of fostering a positive mindset and encouraging proactive behaviors mirrored many of the strategies I'll be sharing with you today. Within six months, the results were remarkable. Employee satisfaction rebounded to an impressive 85%. Sales surged by 22%. The company not only retained its clients, but it also attracted a wave of new ones. This first-hand experience solidified my belief in the incredible impact of attitude on success, and I'm excited to share these insights with you here today. Imagine waking up each morning feeling like you can conquer anything. Picture yourself confidently navigating life's twists and turns, making decisions with clarity, and building relationships that truly nourish your soul. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools to unlock that reality. You'll learn how to cultivate a positive attitude, not only that makes you more resilient in the face of challenges, but also supercharges your creativity and fuels your passion for life. So whether you're aiming to reach new heights in your career, create a thriving business, or simply experience more joy and fulfillment in everyday life, this video will equip you with the mindset and strategies to make it happen. Stick around to the end because I'll be sharing a surprising yet simple, incredibly effective daily practice that can quite literally rewrite your brain for positivity. It's a game changer and you won't want to miss it. Attitude is a small thing that makes a big difference. It shapes our experiences, influences our interactions, and ultimately determines our success and happiness. To illustrate this, I'm going to share two powerful pieces of wisdom with you here today. One is a story about a remarkable taxi cab driver in New York City, and the other is a poem by Charles Swindle called Attitude. Let's start with the story. A few years ago, a man had a business meeting in New York City. Running late, he hailed a taxi cab, stepped into the cab, and he noticed it was impeccably clean. The driver was a middle-aged man with a warm smile. He handed him a laminated business card that read, Wally's Taxi Service, First Class Service. The passenger was intrigued. He hadn't seen anything like this before. The driver, Wally, asked, Would you like a cup of coffee? I have a thermos of regular and one of decaf. The passenger was taken back. He said, jokingly, no, I prefer a soft drink. Wally smiled and said, not a problem. I have a cooler with regular and diet drinks, water, and orange juice. Stunned by the level of service, the passenger asked Wally why he offered these extras. Wally explained, I used to be like all the other cabbies, complaining about the traffic, my pay, and how everything was wrong. Then one day, I heard a motivational speaker on the radio. He said, if you get up in the morning expecting to have a bad day, 
you'll really disappoint yourself. Stop complaining. Be different from everyone else. Wally continued, so I decided to make some changes. I read books, attended seminars, and started doing things to make my customers happy. I took a different approach to my work. The results were remarkable. My tips increased significantly, and I began to enjoy my work more. Every day, I try to do something a little bit better than the day before. The passenger was quite impressed. As they drove, Wally continued to amaze with positive attitude and extraordinary service. He offered a daily newspaper, suggested the best routes to avoid traffic, and he even had an array of snacks for longer rides. As they approached the destination, the passenger, deeply impressed, asked Wally how he managed to maintain such a high standard of service. Wally smiled. He said, I realized that the only thing that I could control was my attitude. If I keep my attitude positive, my customers are happy. And if my customers are happy, I'm happy too. Then Wally added with a chuckle, you caught me on a rare day. I don't usually pick up passengers from the street anymore. Most of my business is done by appointment. My customers have my card and they call me in advance to schedule rides. This allows me to plan better and provide the best service possible. Wally's story is a testament to the power of attitude. He chooses to rise above the average to soar like an eagle rather than quack like a duck. This choice not only transformed his business, but also his entire outlook on life. And this brings us to Charles Swindle's powerful poem attitude. It's a piece that many people turn to for inspiration, and it beautifully encapsulates the essence of what we just discussed. So let me share it with you. I'll also put it in the description below. The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude to me is more important than facts. It's more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes, than what other people think, say, or do. It's more important than appearance, than giftedness or skill. It will make or break a company, a church, a home. The remarkable thing is, we have a choice every day regarding the attitude that we we embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play on the one string that we have, and that is our attitude. I'm convinced that life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. And so it is with you. We are in charge of our attitudes. Wally's inspiring journey as a taxicab driver, coupled with this timeless wisdom of Charles Swindle's poem, reveals a fundamental truth. Our attitude isn't just a fleeting emotion, it's a powerful force that shapes our reality. By choosing to adopt an optimistic outlook, embracing challenges as opportunities, and focusing on what we can control, we pave the way for a more fulfilling and successful life. But how exactly do we make that shift? Let's explore five practical steps that you can take today to cultivate an eagle's attitude, one that empowers you to soar above life's obstacles and create the life that you truly love. Step number one. Embrace a morning ritual of gratitude. Before the chaos of the day begins, take a few moments to center yourself and appreciate the good in your life. Jot down a couple things you're grateful for in a journal, or simply reflect on them in your mind. This practice primes your brain for positivity, setting the stage for a day filled with positivity. Two, master the art of selective focus. Life will inevitably throw curveballs your way. Traffic jams, unexpected deadlines, disagreements, they're all part of the the journey. Instead of getting swept away by frustration, train your mind to zoom in on what you can control. Maybe it's your breath, your response, or the next actionable step you can take. By focusing on solutions rather than dwelling on problems, you'll conserve energy and find your way forward with grace. 3. Curate your circle of influence. Surround yourself with people who lift you up, inspire you, and challenge you to become the best version of yourself. Their positive energy is contagious and it can act as a powerful antidote to negativity. Seek out mentors, join supportive communities, and engage in conversations that spark your passion and ignite your sense of purpose. 4. Reframe setbacks as springboards. Remember, even the eagles encounter turbulence. The difference lies in how they respond. When faced with setbacks or failures, resist the urge to wallow in self-pity. Instead, analyze what went wrong, extract valuable lessons, and use those insights to propel you forward. Each challenge is an opportunity to refine your skills, deepen your resilience, and ultimately soar to even greater heights. 
Five, nurture the seeds of self-compassion. We all have bad days. We all make mistakes. The key is to treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would offer a friend or a loved one. Forgive yourself for imperfections. Learn from your missteps. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Remember, a positive attitude isn't about denying challenges. It's about embracing them with self-love and a commitment to growth. By implementing these practical steps, you'll gradually shift your mind mindset from that of a duck constantly reacting to external circumstances to that of an eagle who soars above the fray with unwavering focus and a heart full of gratitude. If today's video resonated with you, I encourage you to take a moment, like the video, and hit the subscribe button. By joining our community of lifelong learners, you'll gain access to more inspiring content designed to empower you on your personal growth journey. But don't stop there. Let's ignite in conversation in the comments below. Have you experienced a personal attitude transformation that you'd like to share? Are you currently facing challenges in cultivating a positive mindset? Share your stories, questions, and insights. Your voice matters and your experience can inspire others. Today, we can build a supportive community where we uplift each other and celebrate the power of positive attitude. So don't be shy. Let's connect and learn from each other's journeys. And before you go, be sure to check the description of the video for valuable resources, including links to books and articles and tools that can further support your quest for an eagle's attitude. By using the links, you continue to support this channel because they're Amazon affiliate links. Thank you for joining me today on Learn Something New. Remember, you have the power to choose your attitude and soar like an eagle. Now get out there and be great. And if you can't be great, at least be careful. And most importantly, be full of care. Thank you very much.